Um, hello, Three Five Scholars, and welcome to another uh, meeting for virtual art class with me, your teacher, Mr. Farrar. Um, today, we're going to discuss another element of art. Um, the element of art is value. Um, and so we're going to look at what value is and how we can apply it to what we've already learned about lines and how to use lines. Uh, we've done a contour drawing so far, and you've had uh, a few activities to do at home um, regarding lines. So we've learned how to use line to uh, basically draw and capture an image, uh, a simple image using only lines. Um, but what value, value is a step up from using line only. So um, when we think of value, we can generally, in the sense of drawing, we think about shading. Um, shading is like um, the second step after you uh, draw your initial um, lines, then you go back in and then you apply shading. Um, so what we could say when we look, when we think about value, um, is that value is just a series of tones of darks and lights that help a drawing or an image gain a sense of realism or a sense of mass or sometimes just a sense of being more, uh, having more depth or being more 3D or, or having the look of something that you can touch and feel on a 2D surface or on a flat surface. But also um, value can be just a series of shades and different um, tones. So when we talk about shades and tones and values, this could be color or this could be in something more like black and white or something that you would do with your pencil. So I'm gonna grab um, a drawing real quick so that you guys can get a sense of what I mean by value. Okay. All right. So here we have a drawing. And on one side of the drawing, you remember um, in the previous class that we met for, we talked about contour line drawing. And that means a drawing that just utilizes only the lines. So when we look at this drawing here, we see um, only the lines. So you just get the outline of the vase and there are no values inside or within the drawing. Um, but here, this is a use of value so that there is not only the simple lines that we have, but you can look inside and see different values and tones um, that allow us to actually see that this is an apple. So we have the initial outline of the apple, which I'll take the marker to do that. This is our simple contour line here. And maybe we have a simple contour line that goes inside of the apple. But all the rest of the stuff that's happening inside this apple is shading or value. So. I actually had to take the time to shade in the apple to get it, a, give it a sense of realism and a sense of depth as if you could touch it. So that is kind of an explanation as to what value is. Um, but there are different ways to add value. Um, generally, when you're using a color pencil or a crayon or e sometimes even like a pen, um, our value is added through how heavy we press on our paper or how lightly we press on the paper. So if you're gonna press heavy, you're gonna get a darker shade. And if you press lighter, you're gonna get a lighter shade or a lighter value. Um, with the marker, like I have right here, um, you generally get the same amount of ink on the board. So sometimes we can add value just by um, making our lines closer or further apart from each other. So I'll give you an example. If I was to do a value scale that's moving from dark to light um, underneath, I would start by having my lines very, very close together. 
since I know a marker cannot get but so dark and so light. And as I go further apart, these lines also get further apart, which causes a sense of darker shading here and lighter shading there. Okay, that's with a marker. If I put our paper back on the board for a second though, and I take a color pencil, or I'll take a pen regular pencil. Um, I can also add a sense of value with a pencil by um, adjusting how heavy I'm um, pushing on the paper or and then raise up or how lightly I'm pushing up on the paper. So this is me applying heavy value or heavy shading. And as I move further apart or further away, I just lightly ease up on the pencil. And then we get a different assortment of shades in this one pencil. So we have really dark over here, I'll put a D, and really light over here, almost white, right? So that's how we apply shading or value. So we, we make a value scale showing us how dark to how light we can um, draw with our actual instrument or our tool that we're using. And then we use these various shades from dark to light to shade in things. So if you look here, um, we have dark shading towards the bottom and we have lighter shading towards the top. Right there, let me see something. Um, so we have darker shading towards the bottom and lighter shading towards the top here. Um, and that is using um, value in a proper way to give us a drawing that uh, has mass and has depth to it. So what I want you to do is, and you'll be getting some links on value, we're still going to be focusing on line and still how to capture a drawing using the lines because that's very important. It's one of the basic ways of doing art is to use line first. but we're also going to look at value and how we can apply that to enhance our drawings. So you're going to be getting a few links with showing you how a person starts off with these simple lines and then they add value, a series of darks and lights to a drawing to give it a sense of form, depth, and overall realism. All right. Um, but what I want you to do is I want you to, um, on your papers at home, practice with different tools. So try a pencil, try a color pencil, try a crayon, try a marker. If you have paint brushes, you can even try to um, lighten up or do a value scale of paint brushes. Now, I, was, I will say that with paint, a lot of times applying value requires that you mix paint. So you would mix black with the color to get it darker and white with the color to get it lighter. Um, so it, it takes a little bit more effort with paint to, to when we talk about values, um, it takes more effort with paint to do that because it requires a little bit of mixing unless you're doing maybe like watercolor. But try to make a value scale um, and that will really sort of train you as to how to apply shading because value shading is a form of adding value and that's uh pretty much that that's what it is um so i look forward to seeing some of the artwork that you do this week you can always always email me or um send the artwork to your teachers and they can um email it to me or send it to me um through whatever source that they choose but i always love to see your artwork and if you're working on art at home don't be afraid to show me or email me what you're doing at home as far as art. 
All right, so I look forward to uh, meeting with the, with the next video and um, I'll see you then.